Heather at Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. Um, so this time it's going to be, what does your person want or need from you at this time? I believe the Chaos Witch just recently did this. I believe it was either the Chaos Witch or Black Cat Tarot. Um, but one of, one of them. I forget which one, or maybe both. But I do know that it has been, like, done before, but I thought that I would uh, see what my guides have to say about it. So, thank you for the inspiration. Whichever channel gave it to me, cred goes to you. So let's see, um, we have six piles. I'm gonna hold them up so that you can see them better. Okay, so this one is the number nine and it says, never forget you are loved, love never dies. Oh, that's number three, I'm sorry. What would be number one? This one. Okay. <laughs> Let the animals on earth support you, feel their unconditional love, or the number 41. That's the first one. The number 23, go out and plant new life seeds, so for your future. The third one, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you, use your intuition. We are proud of you and are aware of your achievements. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. And then never forget you are loved. Love never dies. And then I have six songs and channeled messages that I'm gonna, at the end, at the end of each one, I'll just go like this. You know what I'm saying? I'll shuffle and I'll pick one message for each pile. It's weird. Why are my cards like that? Why are my cards like that? They're all like, they're all freaking, what the hell happened? Okay, sorry guys. Wow. So, like, well, some of y'all are outright refusing something. <laughs> some of you guys are like outright refusing Something. I don't know. Okay. So here we go. Ooh, get under there. Okay. So if you chose, let the animals on earth support you, feel their unconditional love, or the number 41. Okay. What does your person want or need from you at this time? As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. So we have spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. My, ha my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more friends. Hey, cut it out. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Judgment. The Knight of Pentacles, slow-ass fucking knight. Justice. Ooh, you have justice and judgment. Nice. The Nine of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you right away, this person wants your forgiveness. The Star. Number 23, the Ring. And number 46, the railroad. I feel like they want your forgiveness for something. What the, f what the friggin' A? Why are all my piles trying to blend together? Why are they all trying to blend together? No, 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 we're not doing this. What the mother F? All right, we're not doing this. We are not doing this. We are not doing this. Oh, what the fuck happened? All right. Okay. 
They want your friendship. They want your love. This person, this person wants to marry you. Or have a commitment with you. But what do they, oh, what do they want or need from you at this time? They need friendship from you. There are deeper feelings here, okay? There are romantic feelings here, but I do feel with the judgment card here and the Knight of Pentacles, they just got out of something. Okay, so this person probably just got out of a relationship, okay, and needs a friend. Okay, um, they might have an animal that's cheering them up, but they need a friend. They need someone to talk to, okay? Um, they need someone to give them hope, to give them faith. Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn, could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, basically, what your person needs right now is a friend. Okay, they want to marry you. They want to take you on a honeymoon. They see everything with you, but right now they're hurting and they need a friend. Okay, they don't need a lover. They don't need a romantic interest. They don't need a sexual partner. They need a friend. They're hurting. They either just got out of a relationship with somebody, um, just got divorced, just recently had a parent pass away. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um, they're going through it right now, and they need support, and they need a friend. And that's what they want or need from you at this time is your friendship. Okay? Let's see what else I can get. Ten of Cups in reverse. See, they just recently left a relationship. They might have just recently lost a child, a parent, a relationship, a job. They lost something, and now they are going through it. And they need a friend. They need support. And that's what they want from you right now or need from you at this time. Love, loyalty, support, and friendship. That's what they need from you at this time. You have the Nine of Cups the Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So they need you to be their friend because this is going to grow into, okay, you want this person. I feel like you love this person. Hi, Twin Flames. I'm probably dealing with my Twin Flames, soulmates, karmics, whatever. Hi. You love this person. This is your wish. This is their wish. This is your wish. This is their wish. They're hurting right now. They need a friend. You're like, well, where were you when I needed a friend? Where were you when you hurt me and I needed a friend? Where were you? You were nowhere to be found, right? When I was sitting there crying, you were kissing somebody else. You were putting a ring on someone else's finger. You know what I'm saying? Like this person was not loyal to you. This person was not kind to you. This person didn't care. And now that they're out of a third party situation and they need somebody to cry to and they need somebody to talk to and they, they know you're going to be there. And so they come at you. Because they know that you're their wish, or you're, they know you think they're your wish. And so they know that you are always going to be there to pick up the pieces and they can treat you however they want. <laughs> this person is very egotistical. This person also feels an enormous, enormous amount of shame for not being there for you. They feel like they don't deserve you to be there for them, but that's what they want from you. But they feel like they don't deserve it. Yep. Page of Pentacles and the, what is that, Four of Cups? Yeah, look. It's like they took your offer and was like, no thanks. Psh. No thanks. They took your love, your offer, your generosity, and was like, Psh, no thanks. You know, with the Page of Pentacles, they might have been really focused on their job. You know what I'm saying? Or on a partner that um, they felt they could build something with, and they didn't feel like they could build anything with you. But now their partner's gone. And they want a friend or someone to talk to. But you're kind of over there like, Dude, you totally shat all over me. 
for however long this has been going on between you, you've totally, like, fucked me over how many times. We're cruel. This person was cruel to you. They were cruel. They were mean. They were vindictive. They were just an all-around not nice person to you, and you still showed them love and showed them compassion and put in time and energy trying to make this relationship work, and they were just a shit person to you. And they always chose somebody else. They always had, you know, their family. Maybe they shoved their family in your face or their wife, their girlfriend, something. They kept shoving something in your face and acted like you were nothing. And now that their person is gone, now they need somebody to cry to and someone to try and heal them. It's like, but they need to heal themselves. If you can see in this card, all these pieces... They have all of the tools to heal themselves. They have the tools. It's kind of like the magician card. Okay, they have all, you don't need. I don't, I don't really feel like. I honestly feel like you should just avoid this person. I wouldn't be this person's friend. I wouldn't be this person's friend. I don't think. But let's see. What does spirit want? What does spirit want you to do regarding this situation? Just because I'm kind of... What does spirit want you to do regarding this situation? So you have the Six of Cups the King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, be their friend. But nothing more. Be their friend, but nothing more. That's what Spirit's advice is. I mean, you don't have to take it. You can totally tell this person to fuck off. You know what I'm saying? If they try and come back. But let's get their message. Let's get the song, the message... Whatever from this. Um, huh? All right. You got Hot Girl Summer, Megan the Stallion. Thinking he's a player, he's a member on the team. You didn't see me. You ignored me. I'm beautiful. Everyone wants me. Watch me do to you what you did to me. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Laughing face emoji. <laughs> that is like from you to them I don't feel like that's like I feel like that's you this is a message from you to them what you're thinking thinking he's a player he's a member on the team <laughs> I guess karma right and with the hashtag sorry not sorry you guys might be into like social media okay they might watch your social media a lot just to see what you're posting all right, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. So if you have, go out and plant new life seeds, so for your future or the number 23. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. We have focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking of and the energy of love. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink. This is actually really cute, guys. This is actually really cute. The Knight of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. The Princess of Pentacles. we got a couple here with the Three of Swords in between. The Page of Wands. The Seven of Wands. 
Prince of Wands. Ooh. So we have two. I'm actually going to do it like this. And then like this. And then you have uh, um, the, the cat, number 36, and the birds, number 9. <laughs> okay. This is a cat and mouse. This person likes games. This person likes to play games. Cat and mouse. This person is, is very confident, okay? This person's very confident. They're very outgoing. Um, they're very fiery. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So all signs are represented. There are no major arcana as of yet. So this is probably a pretty balanced person. And what they need for, from you right now is for you to trust that they're coming back. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. They want you to love yourself. They want you to give to yourself. They want you to heal. This person wants you to heal. This person loves you and they want you to heal. That's what they want or need from you at this time. They need you to heal. So some of you guys might be mothers. Okay. So this person wants you to heal from the need to play games is what I feel. Okay. Um, or they want you to feel like okay alone. This person wants you to feel okay alone. I just saw the Empress in reverse. They want you to feel okay alone. They want you to heal. They want you to stop with your codependent behavior. I'm getting a very like sibling feel, mother feel, family feel. You know what I'm saying? Like soul family even. But this person just wants you to heal. They want you to get better. From your, I feel like you guys have a need for attention. You guys might like like attention a lot. Like I said, you guys are probably really a little bit egotistical for the life of the party, and you really like attention. So this person wants you to stop with your incessant need for attention. Six of Wands. As I say that, the Six of Wands pops out more fire. Airs of your Sagittarius. So they want you to stop needing attention or playing games to get attention. They want you to heal from that need, okay? The need for constant attention. Um, you have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. So, <laughs> you have two Aces here and then the Four of Pentacles. It's like, so this person feels like, um, and this person wants your attention. That's why they want you to heal. Because they want to give you attention, but they want you to only pay attention to them. They want your attention. They want you to be healed enough to actually give them the right amount of attention. Like I said, the lovers on the bottom of the deck. This person's all wrapped up in you. Okay, three of swords. They're heartbroken. Got the three of swords twice. This person knows that you're heartbroken, that they did something to break your heart. I feel like maybe, and like I said, it could be family. You know what I'm saying? Like um, maybe you got into a fight with your sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and they just, they want you to heal that situation so that you can move forward. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's a lover, an old lover, they want you to heal and forgive. 
and move forward. So we have more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There are no more. So all signs, like I said, all signs are represented. No majors popped out except for Gemini with the lovers here. So it could be dealing with a Gemini. And any other sign, but Gemini was the one that popped out. So let's get your song and message. All right. It must have been love by Roxette. Make believing we're together, that I'm sheltered by your heart. But in and outside, I turn to water like a teardrop in your palm. And your message is come home. My love, my hate, myself. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Love and light. Bye. All right, if you chose this one, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. I want to go watch deck one. I'm really feeling like you guys should maybe go watch deck one. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero. The nine of swords. The seven of wands. The six of wands. The three of wands. This person has a lot of fire. The lovers, Gemini energy coming through. Balance or temperance. So Sagittarius energy. The mouse and the order. So Aries, Leader, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then Gemini and Sagittarius are the two major. What does your person need from you at this time? This person needs to miss you. This person needs to miss you. This person needs to know your worth. Okay? This person needs to understand your worth. They need to know your worth, understand your worth, understand that you're not going to keep yourself stuck in anxiety and nastiness and third-party situations, that you deserve more than that. You deserve honor. Or they. They deserve honor. Why do I say you? They deserve honor. This person wants you to, like, make a fucking decision. This person needs to feel honored. Okay, I feel like this person has been taken advantage of a lot. This, this is someone that needs respect. This is someone that has good boundaries, okay, but might be more of an introvert. Okay, I, I'm getting very, um, like, kind of scaredy cat vibe. 
This might be like a wallflower. Someone that's not really comfortable talking to a lot of people might prefer to be on their own. But they, what they want from you is you to honor them, show them respect, show them that they matter. This person wants to know that they matter to you. This person wants to know that they matter to you. They want you to use your voice. They want you to speak up. They want you to honor the connection that you have by speaking your truth. That's what they want. They just want you to come forward and tell them the truth. That's what I'm getting. They want to have and they want you to have enough respect for them to come forward, apologize or tell them the truth or something. Okay? They want you to have enough self-respect and enough love and honor for them to take action towards them. They want you to take some sort of action towards them. This person, I feel like, pretends like they don't give a flying fuck about you. Okay, but like deep inside, like they just want you to just like come and save them. Like just come be with them. They just want to be with you. But they're not going to be with you until you come forward with honor and treat them with respect. This is someone I said had excellent boundaries excellent boundaries too high of boundaries can you see like how thick this fence is behind this skunk okay so she has her she has her back to this fence but she knows she's safe right because there's a fence behind her so this this skunk knows that they're safe from this direction so they're choosing to face where they know the threat is coming from okay so i feel like this person needs communication they need communication that's what they need they need communication they need to understand why you do what you do why you did what you did why you think how you think they love to talk and get to know people and they need you to take action towards communication with them because they are not going to communicate with you first they feel like they already put in a lot of work with this. You are giving too many fucks and the nine of swords. They feel like they, and the seven of wands, they feel like they already came at you with everything they had and you like outright rejected them. So they're not going to come back because they've already come to you. So they want you to put in the same amount of effort that they put in to have enough honor, to love them enough to put in enough effort to want to give back what they gave to you. Okay. I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm not saying, do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't think that's fair, obviously don't do it. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm simply telling you what your person wants and needs from you at this time. Okay? So don't kill the messenger. What does your person want or need from you at this time? You have the Ten of Cups. So this person wants support like i said they want a family with you they want they want to be with you they just want to be with you this person just wants to be with you magician aquarius sagittarius energy cancer pisces scorpio three of pentacles they want to build with you they want to pick your brain like i said they want to know you look at it they want to get to know you. This person is big on communication and getting to know people through like texting. I feel like this person might be a little bit awkward in person. Okay, they might be quieter in person or shy in person, but they feel better communicating like through text messaging, email, um, Insta, you know, Facebook Messenger or something. They, they feel better behind a keyboard. They feel safer behind a keyboard. They feel safer expressing themselves behind technology. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Lib Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. But the main sign is, the main signs I see are Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Gemini as of right now. 
So we have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This one came out in the last deck. You might want to go watch the last deck because these two came out together as well. But they came out in reverse. That's kind of weird. They came out together, but they came out the uh, other way. So I'm going to read them the way they came out. So what I'm really feeling here is... Um, you guys might see 666 a lot. Or... Um, it's just six or four, 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 something like that. So this person, like I said, this person needs you to come clean. Look at this fucking image. This guy's like holding on to all these fucking pentacles. Like I'm not saying anything. These are mine. These are mine. And she's like, God damn it. You son of a bitch. Give me a fucking, at least give me one fucking pentacle. At least give me one fucking pentacle. What? I'm running out of time. Look at the, the clock around her neck. I'm running out of time. Just give me one fucking pentacle. Jesus Christ, how long are you going to take? This person is getting angry. Because you're withholding communication or not telling them your true feelings, they're getting angry and they're getting ready to leave this situation because they're frustrated with your lack of communication or your lack of honesty. All right? Don't kill the messenger. Like I said, that might not be how it truly is, but that's what they want or need from you at this time. So let's get a message and song that goes with this reading. We got Riot by Three Days Grace. You're not the only one refusing to back down. You're not the only one, so get up. The stalemate we are at is killing me. We're both fucked up people trying to heal. Let's heal together. <laughs> I told you this person just wants you to talk to them so badly. Jesus, would you just talk to them? Fuck. God. Acts like you're pulling teeth or something to get you to talk. But remember that that person does like communication through text message or email. They prefer that. They, I, don't, I don't feel like they really like to talk to a lot of people in person. Okay? So we are proud of you and aware of your achievements. Number 38. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. We have, I love you. These are very important words. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. They broke your heart. Fuck them. The Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. The King of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The High Priestess. These ones, no? You have the key and the money safe. What does this person want or need from you at this time? Love. This person, this person just recently went through a breakup. Okay, I feel like someone recently broke up with them and left them for someone else. 
I feel like this is my spiritual pile. Hi, Twin Flames. Hi, Twin Flames. I feel like the feminine energy in this warned the masculine energy about their karmic. Um... Or you were warned about your karmic and you... So either one of you just had your heart broken, okay? Because you chose wrong. But since it's supposed to be what do they need from you, I'm going to say that... You already know. With the into it, you already know that they just need you to. It's like this person just needs like their ego stroked. This person wants you to stroke their ego. Interesting that you got a peacock. They're all about ego, right? They want you to tell them you love them. You'll never leave them. You know they're your person. You'll never break their heart. They want you to tell them that you have. they have the key to your heart. They want you to tell them you love them. That's what they want and need from you right now is for you. They want or need for you. They want you to heal them. They want you to heal their broken heart. So they recently broke up with somebody that you warned them about. I twin flames. They recently broke up with somebody or somebody broke up with them that you warned them were a nasty person, whatever. You, you gave them some sort of warning, some sort of intuition that they did not listen to. This person robbed them blind. The money safe is empty. This, this person robbed them blind, took the key, and ran away. This person destroyed them. They destroyed their ego, destroyed their self-esteem, destroyed their self-worth. And now they want you to build it back up. They want you to love them. They want you to heal them. They're very, they're, they might, they're suffering from alcoholism, codependency issues right now, I feel. They're very depressed. They're up late at night. Okay. Thinking about you. Thinking about how they broke your heart. They know they broke your heart. The tower. They know they broke your heart by choosing this other person. They know they broke your heart by choosing this other person who broke their heart. But now that their person that they chose left them and is gone, they want you to come back. They want you back. They're hunting you. This person's going to hunt you. They're watching you closely. They have so much love for you. They realize they love you now. But they're too egotistical to say that. And so they want you to fix the situation for them. Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups in reverse. They want you to fix their brokenness. They want you to heal them. Six of Wands. They want you to bring them victory. They, they want you to pick them again. They're like, fuck, I realize you're my person, but I don't want to tell you you're my person. Please fix this like you did last time. Oh, what were the signs? So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Pisces energy coming through heavily. Heavy Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aries, Leader, Sag. So all signs are represented. Majors that I saw were um, Pisces and... Anything else? Pisces is the major sign. So heavy Pisces. All right, let's get your song that goes with this reading 
get your song that goes with this reading. All right, I guess this one. You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. I got the maple syrup everything but you. Oh my God, I cannot. I cannot make this shit up. Here's their message to you. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I understand why you left. I'm not angry. I hope one day you can forgive me. I miss your voice. It's like an angel's. <laughs> well, there's your answer. They do love you. They do. They're being honest, at least, with themselves, if not with you. They know they love you. They know you're their person. They know they fucked up. They just don't want to admit it. All right, so if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we will get you set up. Love and light. All right, if you chose changes can bring you new life and energy, we will hold your hand or the number 25. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we will get you set up. So we have, do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. Money in reverse, make it rain. So money in reverse, I usually don't read reverses, but I'm gonna leave it like that. Hi, Isabelle! What's up, Isabelle? Hi! Are you coming to give me some energy? Hi, Blaze! Hi, puppies! I'll take you... I just took you out. I'll take you for another... I'll take you O-U-T again in a minute. Go. Go find your toys. Go. I'm the High Priestess. Pisces energy coming through. The Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Two of Swords, um, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Temptation or the Devil, Capricorn Energy, and then we have Children and the Ship. So what does this person want and need from you at this moment? I feel like this was a long-term relationship or a marriage. I feel like this person wants money from you. Like child support. They want, might want money from you for a child. Or you might want money from them for a child. There's something to do with a child and a marriage here. If that does not resonate with you, this is not your reading. So this person wants you to, um, like... Decide what you want. I feel like a lot of you guys, they know you don't have a lot of money right now. You guys are trying to manifest some money. Okay? You're, you're waiting for the money that you've manifested to come your way so that you can... Okay, I feel like you want your... If you, you have kids, if you have kids, you want your kids back. Maybe you don't have your kids full-time. Maybe you want them full-time. Oh, fuck you, Kenny. Go fuck yourself. Chase me all you want. Chase me all you want. Not happening. You're a fucking dickhead, cheater, asshole. Okay. This person wants to know whether or not you're in or out. Whether you're coming or going. Okay. Uh, I feel like this person has a very love-hate thing for you. They love you because you're like the mother of their children or their former spouse or something. But they hate you because like... They, they, they need money or they want money from you. It's, it's a fight about money 
or you want money from them. Like there's something about um, not enough money here. You could even be still married to this person and there's just not enough money to go around. And they, So what they need from you right now is, is support. Money and support. Or what they want and need from you right now is money and support. But why? Why do they want money and support from you? If you have children with this person, be wary. If you have children with this person, be wary that they're probably not particularly kind to them when they have them. Here's a message I'm getting for you. This person, and this is specific for specific people, if this person has your children and wants money from you and support from you that you're trying to get and you're trying to manifest but cannot, it's because this person is draining it, okay, energetically. This person is energetically draining you. They're energetically draining you. They're energetically drained, so they're trying to get energy from you, trying to get money from you, support from you, time from you. But why? I mean, I feel like you're a good mom or dad. I don't feel like you, I don't feel like you, like, I don't know what's like. Yeah, but that special message, if you, if this person took your kids from you and you're trying to get money to get your kids back, it's coming. As I say that, the Ace of Wands, look at that, with a baby. You're going to get your kids back. Probably full time. Okay? The Five of Pentacles and the Magician. Money is coming. Temperance. Your money situation is going to improve. This person... What they want or need from you right now is money and support. And you're going to be able to provide that for your children very soon. And if you are fighting your ex-spouse for your children or whatever, the money that you need to do so is on its way. Okay? And will arrive in the time that it is needed. All right, so let's get a song. Which song? Which song? Which song? Which song? I don't think either one's going to fall, so we will see which. Strongly being drawn to this one, so I'm going to take it. You got Hesitate by Stone Sour. Now, now and then, you come around like there's something left for me. I miss you more than I can show you. I love you. I'm coming. Be patient. I'm healing. Never doubt that I love you. I feel like a lot of you guys might be in a new relationship. Okay, that was your ex-spouse, right? I feel like you guys might have a new relationship, a supportive relationship in your life right now. Um, or have a person that you feel could be that for you that isn't. Okay, so if you guys are waiting on your person, hi, Twin Flames, because I don't feel like that was your Twin Flame. I feel like that was your karmic or whoever you discarded for your Twin Flame. Hi, Twin Flames. The person that you loved or more than your spouse, whatever, whoever you felt this intense connection with, if this is not resonating with you, don't take it, okay? Just completely don't take it, okay? If this, if, if this is not resonating, don't take it, but the... The person you think is your person is coming. And I feel like that's how you're going to get your kids back. I feel like this person is going to come and help you get your kids back. Get your life back together. Because they say, never doubt that I love you. I don't feel like that was your spouse. I feel like that's, that's your person. Your person is coming to help you get your children back, get your life back, get your money back, whatever. Your person is coming back. 
and that person that you left that's abusing your children or abused you or is trying to take money from you is shit out of luck because this person has money. Whoever's coming towards you, your person has money, even if they don't act like it. All right? So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. So never forget that you are loved. Love never dies. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So what do they want or need from you at this time? I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Detox. The Ten of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Lots of lots of air energy here. Aquarius Sleeper Gemini heavy. But also Aries Leo Sagittarius. The stars. Aquarius energy for sure. The Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The number 42. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Amor. And the number 33, the Clover Leaf. They want you to get out of the mental trap you're keeping yourself in when it comes to this specific relationship. You're blocking your soulmate. You're blocking your soulmate. This person wants you to wake up to the relationship. They want you to wake up. They want you to open up your root chakra. Okay, so they might want to bring this into reality. So this might be a spiritual person too. This person might be very spiritual. Okay, they're probably an Aquarius. But what they want from you is for you to get sober if you have codependency issues. And they want a child with you. They want a family with you. They feel lucky with you. They feel blessed with you. They feel like you're their person. They want to start an adventure with you. They love you. But they feel like you're not awake to this connection. They feel like you're not awake to the connection. And they need you to wake up. That's what I'm hearing. This person needs you to wake up to the connection. They don't think that you know about the connection. This person doesn't think that you know or believe about this connection, and they want you to wake up. Page of Cups. So, um, this person might, like, believe in magic. Unicorns, mermaids. Beautiful imagination. This person has a beautiful imagination, but they get stuck in their head a lot. I feel like this is kind of a, a like, um, more of a solemn energy, a reserved energy, maybe someone with codependency issues with the detox and the page of cups. This person just wants you to get sober. Three of pentacles. Maybe they want you to go back to school. They might want you to go back to school or get sober. The Page of Wands came out in reverse. So I don't feel like this person's going to be open to any sexual communication at this time. Okay? I don't feel as though they're going to be very open to any sort of sexual communication at this time. I feel like they need love right now. They're trying to wake up. This person 
wants you want, wants you to wake up, but they want you to do it on your own. You hurt this person. You hurt this person. I don't care if you say you didn't hurt this person, whatever. This person loved you. You might have loved them, but whatever happened in this relationship, whatever third party, codependency issues, this person just wants it in the past. This person wants it in the past. They don't want to talk about it anymore. They don't want to analyze it anymore. They just want to move forward. They want to start new. This person wants to start brand new with you and just be with you. Doesn't matter if you don't have any money. Doesn't matter if you, you know, it, it doesn't matter. This person just wants to be with you. I mean, be with you. That's it. That's their wish. Their wish is to have a home, a life with you, regardless of whether or not there's ever children, regardless of whether or not there's ever a marriage. They just want to be with you. I can feel how much this person just wants. They just want you to reach out and tell them that you want that you want to be with them. So, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So all signs are represented, but Aquarius was the heaviest that came through. So let's get your song, or your whatever. Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. She rules her life like a fine skylark, and when the sky is starless. I'm really focused on my spiritual growth right now. I don't have time for much else. I don't mean to ignore you. I'm just busy. Maybe text me first. I told you. They just want you to reach out. This person likes their freedom. Okay? They they love their freedom, but they want to start something with you. But they're really focused on themselves right now and their spiritual growth. Okay? And so they're probably not going to reach out to you. This person, you're going to have to reach out to them if you want to talk to them. Because they're not going to reach out because they're too busy. All right, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we'll get you set up. Love and light, guys. Ta-ta.